fans, this is Jasmine and you're watching M&J Games. Today I'm giving you a brief update on my Sweetheart Lane Park. This is a park that I finished a few months ago, but um, we recently got a PS5, so I'm trying to make some changes and just kind of make it better. I, I had built for PS4 and I had built very large and so I didn't get to do a lot of the things that I wanted to do in the park because I ran out of um, the Oswald meter so this is my opportunity to do all the things that I really want to do and, and make the park better. Um, one of the main things that um, uh, was an issue in the park was that I didn't have enough um, food buildings and uh, drink buildings and so a lot of my food places were overcrowded and um, they just weren't functioning very well so this is um, one thing that I've recently changed so uh, there was a food building here and it was it was not laid out very well I it was almost like a courtyard like an indoor courtyard type thing and I had I think I had six total shops and two drink shops were inside and then four were on the outside, uh, four food shops, excuse me. And um, what I found was that people were just flooding inside where there really wasn't enough space um, trying, to get, trying to get drinks. And so I had to completely get rid of that. This is what I've done, um, and it, it was it was here originally. So this is what I've done to um, this area as an alternative. So I wanted to keep the courtyard feel, which is why I have this um, this kind of limestone brick wall right here in my. Pl it's not done, but my plan is to add some ivy, some flowers to it, and make it look really pretty. So it's almost like a like a garden courtyard feel. Um, I do have like a little water feature here, but obviously I'm not done with that. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to um, get rid of it, but it's it's just there for now. <laughs> and I really like these wishing trees, but I don't like their little faces. So I put a whole bunch of a whole bunch of um, plants. Uh, around them so that you couldn't see their faces but I love the like the the drop lights or hanging lights that are on them and I really liked that soft glow and so that's why I um, placed those there but, um, but this is the uh, food building that I created and um, it took me a while to kind of come up with inspiration for this I really just had no idea what kind of style or, or what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted to keep um, with the same sort of architecture that I have throughout this main courtyard. It's kind of, it uses a lot of like the limestone brick. Uh, it, it's not limestone. I don't know why I'm saying, I'm saying limestone, but <laughs> it's called lime something. And, and I have this... Uh, this little information building here and so I kind of wanted it to to kind of have the same sort of feel um, and I debated making it orange to match my info building and I just was not loving that color um, so I made it red which I think um, works well since this is supposed to be a romantic park <laughs> so um, yeah, and, and you know, like, if, if you're familiar with our channel or you're familiar with um, some of my previous parks that I've created, I like to color code my sections and color code my rides and, and the buildings that are associated with them. And so I was having, once I made this red building, I was having some issues because I was like, this red building is next to this blue building and this coaster is blue. I feel like it needs to be red now <laughs> and I seriously debated changing this blue coaster to red but I worked really hard on <laughs> on uh, adding those blue lights and stuff so I, I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it it's gonna be fine <laughs> it looks fine so um, that's my little transition to 
my update to this coaster. So this coaster is called a Walk in the Clouds. Um, and issues uh, with this coaster originally were that it was too high up off the ground. Um, and I also didn't bank uh, some of my turns very well in the previous version of this coaster. So um, this is my, uh, my revision. Um, it's nothing like the original at all. Um, if you are familiar with this park, you might notice that um, this cable lift is over here now. It originally, the train originally started off and immediately went to the cable lift. But now there's kind of a, a, a dip and a turn and then it gets to the cable lift. And I think that works a lot better. I'm going to show you a POV at the end of the video. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, and just wanted to give you one final uh, update that I've made. So this Tuscan Villa building that I created had a lot of issues with it. Um, I, when actually playing with the little guests, um, they were flooding this building. It was completely overcrowded. I have some food shops in here. These were um, just totally, totally overrun because everybody was starving apparently <laughs> and so so now what I've done is I created a restaurant up at the top this part here originally had all arches around surrounding it and then it had some uh, picnic tables inside and of course you know there's no reason for guests to go up there so it was always empty so now I have a restaurant here and I do have a few picnic tables just because I really I really love those arches and I really I, I hated getting rid of these um, so that's my uh, compromise there <laughs> Um, and it, it, it's worked out. Um, I was having some issues with some overcrowding at first because I built the, the restaurant before I had built that red food building that I just showed you. So people were getting stuck um, trying to come up the steps and turning into the restaurant. But now it seems to be working really well that I've now that I've built that red uh, food hub building. Um, so that's basically all of my updates, um, but I am going to show you <laughs> uh, my Walk in the Clouds coaster. Um, oh, you know what? I actually forgot something. So I have, I did add a new ride here. I, I can hear Iron Maddie telling me that I don't need more rides in this park. <laughs> the reason that I added um, this ride here is because I felt like uh, the guests needed a little more of a nudge to get over here and I think it looks really good especially with the lily pads and, and the candles I think that works really well and then also in my uh, in the previous version Tommy CM suggested that I connect these two lakes or have some sort of waterfall and I did attempt to connect the two lakes and it completely messed up um, the, this, the lake over here that's connected to my uh, Persephone Elysium area. Um, it just, it completely lowered the water and it just, it looked terrible. So, um, so I decided to leave them separate and I just added a little waterfall here and I think it's really cute, especially um, with the little boat going by, they can kind of see the waterfall in their little boat and I just think that's so cute and it's just, you know, just another little thing, little detail that, um, that makes the, the park seem a little more romantic. And one final thing I want to say before we do the POV is I had to create two custom supports right here because there's this pathing and, um, the game it, it automatically 
took out the, the supports that normally would be there. So I created these custom supports and I think I did a pretty good job. That's the first time I've attempted to do um, any sort of custom coaster supports and I tried to make them match these ones back here. So I think I did a pretty good job. This is still the same type of coaster um, that, that was originally here and these are the stats. guys have any suggestions on how to make this coaster better let me know I know like after this this um, this kind of drop and turn here it, it's it's pretty quick um, and I, I've attempted to slow it down and all of my attempts didn't work out very well <laughs> very well so um, but if you have any any suggestions just let me know and and I'll see what I can do but um, that's basically it guys. I really appreciate you guys watching and um, please like this video if you enjoyed watching this. Um, please consider subscribing to our channel if you enjoy Planet Coaster content. Um, I really appreciate your support and I hope to see you soon.